Hey guys, while I don't shell them, Olisa Bakuba, a senior advocate of Nigeria and the former president of the Nigerian Bar Association, has advised President Bola May Tunubu that the chairman of the Independent National Electoral Commission, Professor Mahmoud Yakubu, must leave office by resignation or removal. He said this on Thursday in a statement while congratulating Tunubu for suspending the governor of Central Bank of Nigeria, Godwin Emefele, and the chairman of Economic Financial Crime Commission, Adurahid Bawa, the first subsidy and the foreign exchange corruption. According to him, after dismantling the CBN, the EF60, first subsidy, and others, the next thing is the INEC. Full congratulations go to President Tunubu for getting rid of Emir Fele and uh, Bawa, the first subsidy, and Fox corruption. Endemic corruption has suffered a massive blow. Next, for the president to dismantle INEC, everyone will agree that logistically, the 2023 elections are the worst in our history. I do not refer to the merits of the results of the elections. Many results are disputed and are in tribunals. Both petitioners and the respondents suffer at the hands of an incompetent INEC. As we await rulings from the courts, massive reforms of the electoral framework are to begin. But this means that the INEC chairman will have to leave office by resignation or removal. Otherwise, the reform tax will be impended. I added that the suggested reforms have nothing to do with the merit of election results. Both winners and losers of the elections were victims of the failure of INEC. A deep cleansing of INEC will enhance confidence in Nigerians' democracy, he stated. In less than three weeks upon inauguration as president, Tunubu has embarked on a number of reforms, including the unification of foreign exchange, signing of Student Loan Act and Data Protection Act. Nigerians, you've all heard it now. What's your take on this? Record that the following the 2023 presidential election, majority of Nigerians were disappointed. They blamed the INEC chairman, Mahmoud Yakubu, for disappointing Nigerians, for not fulfilling the promises he made before the election started. Nigerians are not pleased with the 2023 general election because INEC chairman failed. You understand, it did not work according to the 2022 electoral act. He promised Nigerians that the result is going to be uploaded at the real time, but that did not happen. He promised Nigerians that the, the, with the beaver's machine, the election will not be rigged and all that. But last class, what we see? Irregularities everywhere. Manipulations. What of voter suppressions? Voter suppression was, in fact, all over everywhere. And all these things happened. The INEC chairman did not even put all those things in, into consideration before announcing the president elect. Nigerians are really very angry with him. If you hear what Nigerians are saying in the comment section, you go even tired. You go even they, they imagine how this man they sleep for night. Because majority of people, they are really very angry with him. Do you know why? First time in history, Nigerians who have never voted for the first time, they came out. Majority of Nigerians who have been voting before, they came out. Because they want their voice to be heard. They want to vote their conscience with happiness. They came out. But what happened? What happened? They are saying that their votes did not count. Because it's not what they asked for. That is what INA gave to them. We are talking about the process. They understand. Even if Bola Metunubu happens to be the best president today in the world, 
But what about the process that brought him? All these things are really very, very, you know, important. The INEC chairman must go for it. If President Bola Ahmed Tunubu really want to cleanse Nigeria, the INEC chairman will not go freely. You understand? It should not be, you know, one side thing. The INEC chairman must, must answer this. And that is what Nigerians are saying. So guys, what's your take on this? The former president of the Nigerian Bar Association, NBA, Ulisa Agbakuba San, has called on President Bola Tinubu to dismantle the country's electoral body, Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC. The senior lawyer stated this in a Twitter post on Thursday. Ogbakoba, however, commended Tinubu's administration over the recent suspension of the governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, Mr. Godwin Emefele, and the chairman of the Economic Financial Crime Commission, EFCC, said, Full congratulations to the President Tunubu, the official Bart, for getting rid of Emefele Bawa for a subsidy and forced corruption, endemic corruption, has suffered a massive blow. Next, it is for the President to dismantle INEC, the INEC Nigeria. Everyone we agree that, logistically, the 2023 general elections are the worst in our history. I do not refer to the merits of the election results. Many results are disputed and are in tribunals. Both petitioners and respondents suffered at the hands of an incompetent INEC. Obakova added that it is paramount for the INEC chairman to leave to allow huge reforms of the electoral framework of the country. He continued, as we await rulings from the court, massive ref reforms of the electoral framework are to begin. However, this means that the INEC chairman will have to leave office by, resig by resignation or removal. Otherwise, the reform tax will be impended. I quickly add that the the suggested reforms have nothing to do with the merit of the election result at all. Both winners and losers of the elections were victims of the failure of INEC. Confidence in, Nigeria demo in Nigeria's democracy will be enhanced by a deep cleansing of INEC. So guys, you've all heard it now. I'm dropping it here. Yeah?